Chapter 601 New Era's Destiny Shi Ruolin's Mansion She walked back and forth, thinking about her decision. After hearing Wang Wei's speech, she was convinced he was the one who would lead the New Era. Now, she pondered whether to oppose, befriend, or become partners. And the deciding factor will be whether to prove the Tao in the myriad emperor world. I currently have a strength of two leaf and will soon reach the peak of three leaf. By restarting cultivation, I might have a chance to reach four leaf, the middle level of immortal venerable. Meanwhile, his strength is already reaching six leaf. Shi Ruolin frowned, analyzing all the information she gathered. He is currently only tier eight, meaning he has plenty of opportunity to reach seven leaf. With secret techniques, I could breach the gap for a brief moment. However, there is also the possibility he also had some secret techniques. Shi Ruolin remembered the battle against Xiao Tiandi. She also noticed how he outclassed Xiao Tiandi in battle awareness and experience. Furthermore, Wang Wei obviously did not use his full strength since he never used his domain. The chances of me defeating him and proving the Tao are extremely low. The rulers might send other heaven chosens to infiltrate the myriad opening sect, making the situation more complex. So, the best course of action is to go to another heaven will world. The celestial clan does not need to be the ruler of the new era. I doubt there can be one absolute era after how people reacted to the two suns and seven moons. The clan only needs to be one of the main people at the top. Read novel full.me Shi Ruolin's experience in the lower dimension opened her eyes to many things she had never thought of. And now, after making a decision, she felt a heavy weight lifted from her shoulder, and her mind became at peace. Without wasting time, she hopped on an innate treasure to travel to another world community. She knew she needed strength to sit at the same table as Wang Wei and negotiate her value. She also required strength to survive the upcoming storm. Wang Wei's Mansion He did not know about Shi Ruolin's decision or secret departure. He still marveled at what had occurred and why Supreme Unity did not save his disciple. After thinking about it, he came up with many reasons why. Wang Wei then suddenly felt something, making him frown. He calculated something before receiving a message he needed to return home. After pondering for a moment, he entered the formation to do so. And as soon as he appeared, an enormous dark purple dragon appeared above the sky, surrounding the entire world. No matter whether it was mortal, demons, or cultivators, no matter what continent it was, everyone saw the mighty dragon. The dragon released a supreme and noble aura before roaring to the heavens, announcing its presence and influence. Then, it gazed directly at Wang Wei before plunging into his body. All the cultivators who saw the dragon instinctively knew what it was as the information popped into their mind. The son of the era. Furthermore, they also knew who was chosen to bear such heavy destiny. Wang Wei calmly received this title and duty. His ancestor warned him this might happen. Although he disliked Heavenly Tao, over the years, he also understood that the latter's actions were essentially just executing a program. By cultivating an outlaw Tao, he activated a program or rule of Heavenly Tao to scheme against him. I still don't like you, but I guess our relationship can be somewhat neutral, he commented but received no reply. Wang Wei did not mind as he closed his eyes to sense the changes happening to him. I'm officially a protagonist, Wang Wei muttered after opening his eyes. Son of an Era is only a better version of Son of Destiny, granting him immense luck. However, the exciting aspect for Wang Wei was how much luck he already had. His human luck had reached seven rainbow color, he was an overlord, and now, he stacked the Son of an Era title. He was now a protagonist in every sense of the word, and even more. Regardless, I should be careful, as luck is a double-edged sword. He sent a message back to the sect before returning to the trial. Meanwhile, all the heaven chosens were shocked after receiving the news. The prideful ones gritted their teeth, cursing why they were not chosen. The calmer ones began to plan on how to take the title away. Only two people had different reactions. Western Continent Mo Xingyun calmly looked at what had happened. So, my prediction came true, he was chosen to lead this era. However, I did not expect it did not give anyone else a chance. She squinted her eyes, thinking about her next step of action. She had to plan ahead to survive and strive in the upcoming era. The other person with a similar reaction to Mo Xingyun was DTN. He looked at the changes in the sky, not caring in the slightest. He had a hint that this would happen especially after Wang Wei passed the outlaw trial. However, according to his theory, the new era's destiny should have been divided into smaller sizes, 
with Wang Wei being granted the most. He did not expect Heavenly Dao to be so bold and give everything to him. This choice meant it was a thousand times more difficult to take this destiny from Wang Wei. Regardless, he did not care much. With his will, soul, power, and experience, the son of an era's destiny could not affect his mind. This ability did not work when he fought Empress Wu, and it will not work now. DTN only cared about achieving 10th extremity and proving the Tao in this generation. Regarding the arrival of the new era, it has to wait for the next generation. Southern Vermilion Bird Continent, Heavenly Flame Domain This particular domain is famous throughout the entire Myriad Emperor world because it is the place that gave birth to the most heavenly fire. There is a legend that the Flame Emperor spent most of his youth in this place, searching and hunting for heavenly fires to create his famous Chaos Flame. Many alchemists will venture into this place to search for heavenly flames or pay people to search for them. A few supreme sects allied and created a business helping people search for these flames. Emperor lineages did not compete with them because of how dangerous the place was and because it was less cost efficient to pay them to do the dirty work. Deep in the domains, in a separate small world, there was a pool made of a dark and eerie blue flame. Bathing at the center of that flame was a handsome young man with an eight pack for abs, a black flame mark in the middle of his brow, and a creepy vibe that was somewhat very attractive. The young man opened his eyes, and they were all black, with no pupil or iris. He slowly walked out of the pool as a dark red robe appeared on his body. His vision then penetrated the small world as he looked at the dragon. It appeared not long after losing contact with the master. This is not a coincidence. The young man frowned. Things will become difficult without help, but the mission must continue. The young man took a few steps before stopping. He then looked at a brown spot on his arm. I need a new body and one with a high flame talent. Should I go after that Huo clan's heir? Her phoenix bloodline is perfect. As a member of the soul race, changing bodies no matter the gender was expected. And he could possess anyone he could overwhelm. However, because of the technique he practiced, he needed special flame attribute bodies. Forget it. The situation has just changed, so it would be best to lay low for a while. Plus, the corpse selling sect has already promised me a new body. With them having branched in different world communities, it should be easier to find me a new body. The young man left his cultivation retreat place to head to the corpse selling sect. Meanwhile, many shadows suddenly appeared after Wang Wei became a son of an era, clouding the entire world into this sudden eerie atmosphere. And the situation became even tenser when the Heaven Mystery Pavilion released the divination that some anomalies had occurred in this generation's Heaven Will Battle. This news forced some sects who did not want to participate in this generation's battle to act. They awakened some of their sleeping heaven chosens from past eras since they needed powerful leadership to deal with the upcoming storm. Meanwhile, after returning to the trial, Wang Wei planned to exit his mansion to go somewhere. Then, he suddenly stopped as he thought of something. Is it a coincidence that I suddenly became a son of Era? His intuition told him it was not. So, he divined any recent changes to the world. He did not hesitate to power his incarnation's strength to ensure success. So, the lower dimension has been completely cut off. This sudden decision of Heavenly Tao was a calculated move with a purpose. Wang Wei thought about many possibilities, but he had no concrete proof for any of them. And he could not divine or calculate any other information. So, he gave up, labeling this information as important in his mind. Chapter 602 Opportunist, ha ha ha, a son of an era. Excellent, excellent, excellent news, said Wang Wuchung as he magically appeared out of nowhere as he usually does, grinning from ear to ear. It's all right, replied Wang Wei nonchalantly. Why aren't you happier? Why should I? As a son of an era, unless something peculiar occurs, you are destined to become an eternal emperor. Without, I'm still destined to become one, it's not the same. Yes, it is. Wang Wuchung shook his head. What about the fact you get to lead the new era? Read novel full.me, without it, I would still lead the new era. To be honest, Heavenly Tao gave me the position because it knows I'm one of the few people who want to change the world for the better. If Heavenly Tao had to choose two people to lead the era based solely on ideology and the desire for change, only Wang Wei and Huo Feng Wang would be qualified as they are the only people with obvious ambitions of changing the world. However, Huo Feng Wang is too biased toward the ancient clan, and her method might do more harm than good. The title only made things official, added Wang Wei. You might not be happy, 
But I and the others are very excited. With this position and the spirit of the epic, we don't have to worry about the Nine Emperor curse. I thought the curse was no longer a problem. It's not, but until the final battle, you never know. But with Heavenly Tao giving you all the destiny of the new era, we no longer have to worry about it trying to restrict us. That's fair, agreed Wang Wei. Then, he said goodbye to the ancestor before secretly exiting his mansion, heading straight to Feng Hang's mansion. He secretly announced his presence and waited outside. More than half an hour later, the formations opened. A maid led him to a room where Feng Hang waited for him with tea. Wang Wei unceremoniously sat before him, and Feng Hang poured tea for both of them. To what do I owe this visit, sect master Wang Wei? Wang Wei took a sip of the tea, and it was refreshing. Great tea. It would have been better without the poison. Excuse me. You're excused, replied Wang Wei as he savored the tea. It would not directly harm me but remain undetected in my body, rendering me weak or immobile at the right moment. I guess I should thank your benevolence for not wanting to kill me. Sect master, these are severe accusations especially without proof. Forget it. Anyways, this is the kind of tactic I would use. So, there is no point in blaming you. What Feng Heng did is similar to what he did during his beach party. Unfortunately, this tactic has become useless. Mon Xingyun seemed to have detected and removed the thread for all the people in her alliance, which included Sun Zhaolong, Huang Yuan, and Fang Luan. Zhen Biyu's alternative personality also detected the thread and removed it. Su Yan appeared to have sealed herself, Zhang Zan was basically dead, Jian Wushang was crippled, and Wang Wei never placed any on Shu Shi. The only person remaining is Huo Feng Wang, and Wang Wei already divined she would remove the thread after fusing it with Ao Tianyi's bloodline. Wang Wei wanted to try the same tactic now that he was more powerful. However, after Chu Luo revealed his method during the first dinner, these people have always been on guard against him. I came to get something from you, said Wang Wei as he continued to drink the tea, not minding the poison in the slightest. I theorized that Monk Wu Ji must have given you an alternative method of proving the Tao. As partners who share a bond deeper than time and space, please share. An alternative method to prove the Tao? If such a thing existed, I would sacrifice anything to get my hands on it, Feng Hang replied calmly. Feng Hang, no, Shi Fu Yu, I'll call you this since I feel it will make us a lot closer, said Wang Wei with a gentle smile, making the latter squint his eyes. You're a man who has lived for a long time and is full of experience. Now, ask yourself, can you survive from me at such a close distance? Do you think the little formations in this room are enough? Is that a threat? Shi Fu Yu asked with a sneer. Confident, I see. Let me guess. You're very proud of your hiding capability. But, can you hide faster than I can kill you? Wang Wei did not release any aura, but the atmosphere became tense. Danmit, I've let my guard down thought Shi Fuyu despite his face remaining calm. After surviving the previous catastrophe, and Monk Wuji hinting that Wang Wei was an ally, he lowered his guard and met him in person. Feng Hang's original plan was to scheme against the latter with a rare poison that was now extinct in modern times. So, although he was prepared in case something went wrong, he still made the mistake of showing up with his real body. I currently have peak 3 leaf immortal strength, far from his 6 leaf. Shi Fuyu checked his divine C, and he had a silver law tree similar to Wang Wei. After many years of comprehending the Tao, this was his achievement. Shi Fuyu has never revealed his full power because that would require him to use both Taoist and Buddhist techniques, and he could not risk exposure. Many thoughts flashed across his mind as he pondered what to do. He cursed Wang Wei in his mind as he did not expect the latter to act in such a two-faced manner, changing his position so swiftly. Feng Hang never expected to become friends with Wang Wei but expected some sort of cooperation after the information Monk Wu Ji revealed. Asterisk Sai this is a lesson to me. The closer I am to success, the more careful I need to be. Without hesitation, he handed a book titled, Merit Proving Dao Method. Wang Wei took the book with a smile, knowing he was bluffing as he would never attack Feng Hang. According to his analysis, only Supreme Unity or someone sent by him can kill Feng Hang in the entire Eternal Ascension world, and he would never try to be on Maitreya Buddha's wrong side when he is so weak. Luckily, he took a gamble, and Shi Fuyu was unaware of his importance. Wang Wei briefly glanced at the book, and his eyes lit up. I was correct. The method I created for my mother is possible. 
Now that you have what you want, you can leave. Don't be so rude. I've come here for many purposes. Don't push it. Even a rabbit will fight back when pushed too far, said Feng Hang, a dangerous light in his eyes. I'm serious. I'm also here to negotiate. Negotiate what? Negotiate my share of merit and incense from Buddhism. What do you mean by this? Monk Wu Ji tasked me to help you spread Buddhism, and I want my share of the profit. Aren't you doing it to pay your karma? Yes. But it is not enough for me not to get a piece of the cake especially since I've paid a great chunk by ensuring your safety. Plus, I'm a very valuable partner. Feng Hang frowned as he could deduct much information from this statement. He took a deep breath to calm down before asking. Tell me how you were valuable. Let me analyze things for you. I can tell you that you have zero chance of proving the Tao in this generation through the heaven will battle. I'm sure this is why the monk gave you the alternative method. Feng Hang frowned but did not comment. Your only option is to gather enough merit and exchange enough merit for a heaven will through being the leader of Buddhism. Unfortunately, you cannot spread Buddhism in the myriad emperor world because of the Taiyi profound gate. So, your only option is our world community's lower realm or another world community's. Wang Wei took a sip of his tea, letting his words marinate for a few seconds. After this incident, I'm sure the Taiyi Profound Gate will suspect you, and your hands will be tied for a while dealing with that mess, meaning you won't have enough time to accomplish your mission. Plus, I can tell you the Tao Opening Sect has almost taken control of most of our world community's lower realm. There is no way for that to be true, commented Feng Heng, and Wang Wei waved his hand to manifest a map showing thousands of spheres. Immediately, Feng Heng's face changed as he could tell these were world coordinates of the Myriad Emperor world community. Then, Wang Wei continued, If you wait until someone proves the Tao to begin spreading Buddhism, I don't have to tell you the consequences. Feng Heng knew the consequences. Wang Wei waved his hand to show him another map, making Feng Heng squint his eyes. As you can see, the Demon Supremacy world community. They are currently in a war between humans and demons with Buddhist monks having a natural restraint to demons, this is the perfect place to begin preaching and spreading. And since I have access to these world's coordinates, I want a share of the profit. Chapter 603 Negotiations You make it seem like I'm desperate and have no choice. I have options, rebutted Feng Hang. You do, nodded Wang Wei. The best option is to use the commerce hub and gain access to different world communities. However, do you think that these people will so readily give you access to their resources? Or do you think these world communities will not resist the invasion of a new force especially one as powerful as a united Buddhism? Before their destruction, Buddhism existed across the endless void, but each world communities had separate but different factions. The only interconnection they had was the existence of Maitreya and other Buddha lords in the upper dimension. But now, once Feng Hang spreads the religion, for the first time since the dawn of the eternal ascension world, all the Buddhist factions of the lower dimensions will be connected. They will be one faction with one leader Feng Hang. Once people figured this out, they would never allow such a powerful faction to exist or spread in their respective worlds. And as someone who plans to control the endless void, Wang Wei would never allow Buddhism to prosper without him being at least the second voice of power in the faction. He needed to be able to restrain Feng Hang's power without using force while also taking advantage of this opportunity to grow exponentially. And do you have a solution to this problem? asked Feng Hang. Yes. I can sneak into these worlds without being detected. Feng Hang pondered for a moment, analyzing the information. With the Tao opening sect being such an old faction, he would not be surprised if they had pawns scattered in some other world communities. In that case, I can give you 20% of the merit and incense. I want 90%. Feng Hang calmly sneered. You seem to have overvalued yourself. The absolute beginning magic still exists, so any form of Buddhism cannot be spread except for my Tao Buddhism. And even then, some special care is needed to remain undetected. Isn't this why you're asking me to share the profit instead of going over my head? That may be true, replied Wang Wei, still drinking the tea. But I can create a way to break the absolute beginning magic. You're not that important. I'm sure you can, but no matter how amazing you are, it's impossible to do so before proving the Tao. Shi Fuyu spent many years planning and only succeeded due to being at the correct place and time and because of the secret help of Maitreya. And don't forget you would also need to completely convert to Buddhism before you could succeed. So, are you willing? 
Wang Wei did not answer as he knew the monk was correct. The position of the lower dimension Buddhist leader seemed unique to Maitreya, and it is not something an outsider like himself could hold without properly converting. Be that as it may. I have access to way more world communities than you. I will be doing most of the work and taking on the greatest danger. And while I do all this, you will be stuck in a quagmire of political nonsense. I think it's fair. You also have a point. I raise my offer to 40%. That's the highest I can go. 80% and I'm not going any lower. The two haggled back and forth, negotiating the correct percentage. However, Wang Wei did not budge on his bottom line of 80%, and Feng Heng could only offer 50% as his highest price. Never mind, said Wang Wei, tired of this back and forth. I'll change tactic. I'll make it my mission that you can't spread Buddhism before the heaven will battle. And after I take the throne, it will be easier to control you and get what I want. By then, you will be lucky if you get 1 to 2% of the profit. Feng Heng's face changed, and his body released a wrathful aura. However, before he could do something stupid, he received a communication talisman and one that seemed crucial. He used his divine sense to check and instantly lost more of his self-control. He finally received the news that Heavenly Tao granted the era sun title to Wang Wei. It gave everything to him not given anyone else a chance. A part of Feng Heng's plan revolved around the destiny of the upcoming new era. He planned to gather as much as possible so that Buddhism would lead the new era or at the very least, they would be the ones who started it. And now, the only way to achieve his goal was to kill this monster. If Heavenly Tao had divided the new era's destiny into parts, people could acquire more if they had defeated or schemed against the others. But now, their only chance was to kill this monster. However, as someone with such high destiny, can anyone kill him? No, his pure luck was enough to ensure his survival not to mention his strength. After learning this news, Feng Heng's thought process changed as he now had many other things to consider. Having a son of an era spread Buddhism was the perfect method to reduce the absolute beginning magic's counter. Feng Heng closed his eyes, reminiscing about that infamous day countless millennia ago when he helplessly watched the absolute beginning emperor massacre his fellow brothers and sisters. I've lost my way. My objective was to bring Buddhism back to the world. However, I've lost my original intention at the sight of worldly desires and benefits. My mind became impure, driven by greed and selfishness. So what if I do not have most of the profit? All that matters is the revival of Buddhism. Amithaba, muttered Feng Heng as his aura changed, becoming more peaceful and in tune with nature. With this enlightenment, his state of mind sublimated, making his future path of Tao Buddhism smoother. Sect Master Wang Wei, I agree with your proposition. You can have 80% of the merit and incense as long as you spread Buddhism as far and wide as possible. This is the second monk who became enlightened because of my words or actions. Do I secretly have the power of the Bodhi tree? Thought Wang Wei, secretly speechless. I'm glad you've come around. Let's discuss the finer prints and sign a binding contract. The two then negotiated on the specifics before signing a Grand Dao contract. Finally, Feng Heng gave Wang Wei a space ring with thousands of seeds. What are those? The luck condensing treasure of Tao Buddhism is the Buddha world and these seeds can grow unique small worlds that can block the power of the absolute beginning magic. This is the only way to spread Buddhism without any problems. I see. Could you give me the method to condense these seeds since they might not be enough? I'm sorry, but only the main treasure can condense them. If you want, you'll have to ask me. Read novel full.me Wang Wei frowned as he realized this would require him to depend much more on Feng Heng for this mission. However, after pondering for a moment, he realized it did not matter since the latter might have a way of knowing which world he spread the seeds. As the leader, Feng Heng should have this essential ability. I should monitor these worlds closely to prevent Feng Heng from taking advantage of their resources. Wang Wei asked him for a few hundred thousand, but Feng Heng told him he was unprepared for such a large number. As of now, he could only give him 40,000, and Wang Wei accepted. After getting what he wanted, Wang Wei left the mansion to see his first business partner, Mu Lei. He talked briefly with him before visiting Shi Lanxian the divine race and co-inventor of the soul path. He even visited the barber and siblings, who appeared to have secretly converted to Buddhism. From his observation, Wang Wei knew a few Feng Hang secretly convinced a few individuals in this trial to convert. He guessed the latter plan to use these people as missionaries. 
However, Wang Wei believed spreading Buddhism in any heaven will world so early was a mistake especially through these heaven chosens that many factions spent countless years and resources cultivating. After returning to his mansion, Wang Wei immediately entered a semi-cultivation retreat. He closed his eyes for a few seconds before opening them. It's still not working, he muttered. He tried to access the eternal ascension world through his soul network ability by secretly accessing the soul imprint of Ao Tieni and Xiao Tiandi. Wang Wei shook his head as he decided to try again after he proved the Tao. Then, he used the soul imprints he had just acquired from Mu Lei, Shi Lanxian, and the barbarian siblings. He had no problem accessing the other's worlds but ran into trouble regarding Shi Lanxian. The world he saw was entirely blocked, and he could not enter no matter what he tried. Forget it. Let's try the others. Chapter 604, The Final Trial. Wang Wei sent a projection to the ancient spirit world, where the barbarian siblings came from. As soon as he arrived, he immediately noticed the dangerous surroundings. He was currently in a place where an intense winter ravaged the land. Not far from his position, Wang Wei saw a group of tall men, women, and children dressed in animal-made clothes. As they traveled eastward, the group led a herd of sheep, goats, cattle, and horses. Migration Wang Wei used his divine sense to learn about these people's language and current situation from someone who appeared to be their leader. He learned this man was called Batu, and these mortals belonged to the Batu tribe, ruled by the Monk dynasty. According to the custom of this world, only one person worthy enough can have the name of the tribe, symbolizing their status and strength. Every few years, the three-year winter arrives in their region, and under the Monk Khan ruler of the Monk dynasty all tribes must migrate to an area more suitable for living. Wang Wei spread his divine sense to the surrounding area and learned many things. The ancient spirit world is ruled by the barbarian race, while other races are the minority. This world is not friendly to mortals as there are natural disasters all over the entire world. Things like winter that last dozens of years, heat waves that would turn the most luscious forest into deserts, non-stop rain for years, rainstorms, thunderstorms, tsunamis, and myriad other terrible natural disasters. The mortals have adapted to the world by becoming nomadic societies that constantly move from one region to another. Meanwhile, cultivators will live in these severe regions and use the environment to temper their bodies. As such, body refining is very prominent in this world. Additionally, teleportation across regions is very difficult and reserved for powerful sects because of the abnormal weather. Space resources or abilities are precious in this world since most cultivators cannot teleport in the ancient spirit world until they become supreme. The situation subsequently results in animals and the demon race becoming the main form of transportation. In this world, having a good horse or demon ride is something to brag about. Wang Wei's projection teleported far away, trying to gather more information about this world. The most powerful emperor lineages of this world had twelve great emperors, while the second had eleven and it was the one the siblings originated. So, the twelve emperor curse exists, thought Wang Wei as he analyzed the information. Based on the history, he could detect that this world once had a nine emperor curse after the Setsun tribe cultivated their ninth emperor. Then, out of nowhere, the Cthulhuun tribe began to rise, producing their ninth emperor soon afterward. The Setsun tribe then cultivated their tenth emperor, and a few other tribes also cultivated their ninth emperor. The situation repeated itself after the Setsun tribe cultivated its twelfth emperor. With the existence of the siblings, Wang Wei can predict that the Cthulhuun tribe will catch up in this generation, maintaining the balance that Heavenly Tao desires. As for eternal emperors, the ancient spurt world had fours, one from the Setsun and Cthulhuun tribe, the other from the most powerful human faction with six great emperors, and the last one was a loose cultivator. After getting the general situation of this world, Wang Wei checked the ancient spirit realm, a dimension where countless spirits resided. The spirits level varied from ordinary animals to innate demons and fallen emperors who have become spirits. As soon as he entered this realm, Wang Wei's projection frowned. He sensed a gaze that even brought tremendous pressure on him. I was detected. And to give me such a level of pressure, it must have the power of a great emperor. After pondering for a moment, he did not go snooping and left. He headed straight for the nearest Great Thousand World in that community to check things out. He discovered the custom and environment were similar to the ancient spirit world. The creatures in this place could also access the ancient spirit realm. 
Could the ancient spirit realm be the reason for the uncontrollable natural disaster? Thought Wang Wei for a moment before focusing on something else. This world community is perfect for preaching Buddhism. Although the resources are abundant, the disparity between mortals and cultivators is two extremes. Cultivators use the environment to their benefit, while mortals have to constantly migrate, losing countless lives in the process. If there were a faction willing to help and support them, the amount of incense gathered would be astronomical. However, Wang Wei was worried about the ancient spirit realm as he felt something was wrong with that place, it could become a stumbling block in his plan. Let's try, but do it slowly. After making a decision, Wang Wei sent a projection to the star beast world. After spreading his divine sense, a slight surprise appeared on his face as he appeared outside of the atmosphere. A planet? He looked in the distance, and he saw many more planets. He teleported over there. There were many races, including humans, demons, spirit races, barbarians, and many more. He saw planets the size of Earth, some as big as stars, and he even saw many bigger than thousands of galaxies. However, most of those appeared to be artificially created. In one particular planet that was extremely vast, Wang Wei could tell it was the body of a cultivator. A cosmic-based world. The advantage should be its vastness, while the disadvantage is the isolation of different planets, star systems, and galaxies. However, the isolation is perfect for Buddhism to secretly establish a base. He went on to check some of the worlds in the lower realm, and their composition was similar except way smaller. After getting the information he wanted, Wang Wei finally checked on his chat group. Mad King, the Assassin, the Doctor, the Scholar, the Butcher, and Wannabe God had all become Tier 6. Over the years, the group contacted each other less in a blatant attempt to reduce the effect the group or Lord of Karma had on them. However, they realized how useless this method was when the Mad King suddenly attacked Wannabe God's worlds, wreaking havoc in a sneak attack. Then, the group became weary of each other, planning to protect themselves or attack others. Wang Wei did not spend much time with them but released a mission for these people to help spread Buddhism in their factions, and the reward was very generous and enticing. Afterward, he began to create other subgroups of the chat group based on the Heaven Will community. Wang Wei currently had access to a few communities to recruit people in large numbers. He divided the recruit into two groups. The first one was sovereign or rulers, people who controlled a large population. Wang Wei chose people who had rights to the throne but did not have power for myriad reasons mostly political or military. He would help them sit on the throne in exchange for making Buddhism the main religion and allowing them to gather incense. The second recruited group were people with a high affinity with Buddhism, and they were the group he would grant the Buddha world seeds. These people would become monks and practice Tao Buddhism. He also lured a few quasi-emperors into converting, making them serve as the protector of these new and weak monks. Read novel full.me All these things took him three days to accomplish. On the first day, he received a notification from Lord Spirit that the final trial would occur in a week despite the upper seated players leaving. Wang Wei exhaled deeply after accomplishing his task. The seed has been planted. Now, all I have to wait for is the towering tree. He did not just spread Buddhism in these world communities, he also left his fate shadow guards along with some other secret factions. And as long as he acquires more coordinates, his tentacles will continue to spread throughout the endless void. Of course, Wang Wei did not intervene in the Heaven Will worlds. He did not infiltrate or leave any factions, it was too risky. Since he had time, Wang Wei returned home to cultivate his AccuPoints into the Turtle Defense Array. The idea of the Turtle AccuPoints Defense Array is to condense a talisman that contains the power of the Sex Array. Wang Wei has to keep the talisman inside his Divine Sea. He can set up the array with his AccuPoints, and the talisman would be the primary power source. The sex formation could be moved, and Wang Wei could keep it inside his divine sea. But that would leave it vulnerable, so he had to use this alternative method. The downside of both ways was the fleshly body had to be of a certain level to bear an emperor level talisman or array, and not all its power could be mobilized. In just four days, Wang Wei barely started learning this array. Regardless, he had to leave to return to the trial. Once everybody had arrived and taken their position, Lord Spirit spoke. The main theme of this final trial is longevity. Chapter 605 Seeking Longevity I, the final trial is simple. Your mind will be sent to a mortal body. The setting will be a mortal world with little to no spiritual chi. 
Your mission will be to create a method of longevity. The ranking will be based on the person who can live the longest, said Lord Spirit. You said little to no spiritual chi. Can you be more specific? Asked Tong Ruobing. There was a vast difference between a world with absolute zero spiritual energy to one still having some trace of it no matter how little. You can find out on your own. Any more concerns? No one said anything as they contemplated how to pass this trial. From the basic information provided, it was obvious that things would be more complex than stated. In that case, let's begin. The participants proceeded to the pagoda. When Wang Wei opened his eyes, he found himself lying on a rock-hard bed, wearing old clothes that had been washed too many times. He stood up from his bed and immediately saw how skinny and malnourished he was. Even when he was an orphan back on earth, he was never this weak. Wang Wei slowly walked to a bronze mirror to see his reflection. It was his face instead of somebody's else. Then, some information appeared in his mind, which simply stated he was an orphan in this village. The info also contained some basic information about the villager and its villagers. Wang Wei took a moment to ponder his next course of action. The first step was to decide whether this world had any spiritual qi in its quantity. This information would determine the method he would use next. Unfortunately, he could not sense anything as this body severely restricted the power of his soul. He needed to enter a deep state of meditation to sense energy. But with how weak his body was, he could die if he did so. The mind or spirit connects the soul to the body. If he entered deep meditation with his malnourished body, his fleshly body could not bear the process. I need some meat and nutrients, thought Wang Wei as he considered his options. Hunting would not work in his current state, so he decided to steal. There were a few villagers with livestock, so he targeted them. He memorized the layout of the village and the villagers' habits like sleeping and drinking time. Then, he stole some vegetables and a chicken from one of the neighbors to make soup. There were no spices, including salt, so the food tasted horrible. I can't remember the last time I felt hunger, thought Wang Wei as he munched on a chicken leg. Ever since he began cultivating, he never felt the sensation of hunger. If he counted the time he spent listening to his ancestor preaching, he was now over 100,000 years. And the sensation was the first time in a very long time, it somehow felt nostalgic. He still had his desire for good food, but the body's instinct for nutrients. Aging, sickness, hunger, and death are fundamental things defining a human. So, am I a human without these things? Wang Wei was not having an existential crisis about his identity since he did not care that much. He believed that since he still had his emotions and desires, and since he thought himself to be human, he was human. However, now that he had nothing else to do, he wanted to ponder this philosophical argument. Of course, once he finished stuffing his face and digested the food, he went to bed since he was tired. For the next month, Wang Wei became a thief at night while helping on the farm in the morning. Because of his quiet and helpful personality, no one suspected him when his thievery reached a point it could no longer be hidden. The villagers organized a night watch group to catch the thief, and Wang Wei offered a few opinions on better organizing things. Of course, no one caught him. During this month, he used a martial breathing method he knew to maximize the absorption of nutrients from all the food he ingested. As such, he could return to normal health in just one month. Wang Wei had to wear more oversized clothes to hide the changes in his body since he was no longer as skinny as a bone. And with a semi-healthy body, he could finally attempt deep meditation. Unfortunately, he did not have the environment to do so. In his current situation, if he was disturbed and forcefully woken up from deep meditation, he could injure his spirit and soul. And he did not feel it was safe to just barricade the hut he lived in since it was not soundproof. With the desire to be cautious, he spent another month digging out a hideout. Wang Wei took this time to build some muscles and allowed the scandal of his thievery to die amongst the villagers before they got the government involved. He took the time to go hunt since he only needed a bow and arrow, and for his new body to adapt to his previous skill. After building the hideout, he attempted his first deep meditation. Usually, Wang Wei could see the spiritual qi between heaven and earth with his eyes. And even if that was possible, it should only require a few minutes of meditation to sense it, or an hour, at best. Unfortunately, he spent more than four hours before detecting something. That's how rare spiritual qi was in this world. With how weak spiritual qi is, if I nourish my body with it, I can only live up to 80 years. The energy of this world was so thin that no energy system Wang Wei knew could be used to begin the path of cultivation. 
and if he only used it to temper and nourish his body, he estimated he could only live a maximum of 80 years. In this world, the average lifespan is 40 to 50 years, so living up to 80 years could be considered achieving longevity, but it was not nearly as good for the trial. I'm sure there might be some herbs deep in the mountain that absorbed a large quantity of spiritual chi. But could I get my hands on one? For the next week, he searched the nearby mountain while hunting. Unfortunately, he never saw any spiritual herb. He also never encountered any animals with spirituality which would also be a good supplement. Wang Wei then concluded that his luck in this world was average and subpar. I must create a cultivation system perfectly suited to this low-level world. Wang Wei had another option to build a science and technology civilization. Then, use genetic engineering to achieve longevity. But he knew the consequences and decided otherwise. Inside his hideout, he pondered deeply about his next step. Essence, Qi, and Spirit. These three treasures are the essence of cultivation and the three fundamental paths to achieving longevity. If I follow the correlation between them, I could live a long life in this poor environment. An idea of the way forward began in his mind. Let's begin with essence. Read novel full.me Wang Wei began to train his body in martial arts. He used his abundant knowledge to create the perfect exercise for his body. Training requires energy to support the body's evolution. And since he could not rely on spiritual qi, he found another alternative, blood energy. Animals' flesh and bones contain a large amount of blood energy based on their sizes. And through consuming them, Wang Wei acquired the energy his body needed to become stronger. Every day, he would hunt in the forest with traps and his bow and arrow. He consumed the prey's flesh and trained in his martial art. In just six months, Wang Wei's body has the strength of three cows. He could smash a large boulder with one punch and fight a tiger with his bare hands. Unfortunately, he encountered another problem. He needed to consume the equivalent of ten cows every day to maintain his training. Although blood energy was a form of energy, it was also the lowest kind with many impurities, making absorbing it extremely inefficient even with martial techniques to optimize the process. And there was also the issue of impurities. Wang Wei had to spend at least five hours a day on the toilet, removing these impurities from his body. And since he was not a cultivator and expunged impurities through his skin, he had no choice but to use the toilet. With the time I spent hunting, eating, training, and shitting, I will never finish the essence refining technique. It did not take him long to realize the solution to his problem. Money. As long he had money, he could cut off the time to hunt and cook, focusing on his training. Furthermore, with money, he could also buy rare resources like 100-year-old ginseng, that are great for nourishing the body. It's like the ancient said, only the rich can practice martial arts. After coming to this conclusion, Wang Wei decided to leave the village to the nearest city to make some wealth. Chapter 606. Seeking Longevity, 2. Xiao Wei, Take Good Care of Yourself. I will, Aunt Li. This is for you, said the middle-aged woman, handing him a little sachet with coins. Although it is not much, it should help you. Thank you. Wang Wei directly accepted, knowing she would insist and refuse his refusal. Furthermore, he knew she would not suffer from this slight loss of money. To repay the karma of the livestock and vegetables he stole, he would give a share of his hun to the village while sharing some knowledge about agriculture, allowing the village to yield more in the previous reaping season. Good boy, said Aunt Li as she liked that Xiao Wei was not like other boys, trying to be modest. He knew when to accept help and refuse. Many other villagers came to bid him goodbye while also giving him some gifts mostly some money or items in their family they believed would bring luck and prosperity. Wang Wei thanked everyone before bidding them goodbye. Then, he hopped on the caravan he had paid that would take him to Spiral Leaf City, a middle-tier city size-wise of the Great Lu Dynasty. The journey took half a month, and they encountered a few bandits. However, the caravan had trained bodyguards armed with weapons. Wang Wei observed the bandits and guards to see if there was any power system mostly martial art. And there was. But, it was nothing like training the body to increase strength. The system evolved around the moves or martial skills. The head guard and one of the bandit leaders were very adept at the weapons they used, and Wang Wei could detect they had spent years training. Of course, he did not come up with conclusive evidence as of yet since there was the possibility these people were not privy to this world's power system. After arriving at Spiral City, Wang Wei began to act. He chose this city because it was larger than the smaller ones, far away from the capital they could not easily reach, and it was a port city. 
The ocean was excellent for business. After settling in an inn, Wang Wei acted. There were three families with the most influence in Spiral Leaf City, Liao, Qi, and Yun. With his martial skills, he infiltrated these families' mansions to access their library. Knowledge was precious in ancient times, and he could barely get some information from the surrounding villages, and by reading these old and powerful clans' knowledge, he could analyze the overall situation of this world. I guess I should have expected this, thought Wang Wei as he placed a scroll back where he found it. There was no cultivation or power system in this world, and as he previously observed, martial art was based purely on skills and practice. Extraordinary powers only appeared in the form of certain individuals born with inhumane strength. These people often become generals that can slaughter hundreds of soldiers on the battlefield. He also read of some people who ate weird herbs in the forest and became extremely powerful. Wang Wei sighed in disappointment as he could easily explain these phenomena. The people with inhumane strength are people born with divine strength due to their luck. At birth, they were lucky to absorb some spiritual qi, nourishing their bodies. As for the people who became experts after eating herbs, that's even easier to answer. These people were lucky to acquire the rare spiritual herbs of this world. Wang Wei quietly left the Liao clan's mansion with the reaffirmed belief that he must rely on himself to achieve longevity. If I want to make money, there are a few paths before me. The first is to become a scholar and use the government's power to acquire wealth. This path is too long and full of too much uncertainty. In this ancient times, a person could not become a scholar simply because they were talented. Scholars especially ones from low backgrounds needed to attend schools built by noble clans. And after years of serving them, they can get recommended for government positions. If only this world had the imperial examination, thought Wang Wei, even though he knew this might not help. Throughout history, the noble clans have also corrupted the imperial exam. The second path is through the military. With my strength, becoming a mighty general is not a problem. However, if possible, I would like to avoid large quantities of battles. Battles often injure the body. And with the scarce resources in this world, repeated injuries will lead to a decline in lifespan which was contrary to Wang Wei's goal. So, that only leaves me with the commerce path. Wang Wei studied business in his past life and could create a successful one as long as he analyzed the needs and wants of this city. However, there was a problem. Backing. In this ancient time, Doing any business without the proper backing will result in it being taken, or worse, killed. He could predict that if he created a successful business, the three families, the government, and a bunch of other people would target him. So, he needed backing. The easiest one is to either use his charming face and marry one of the main branch daughters of the three families. But he did not dare. Or, become an underling of the city's mayor, joining the side of the government. And there was no way he would do that. So, he took the third option create one for himself. And the method was simple and rude. He used his overwhelming martial prowess to conquer all the city gangs both small and big. He thought a small group of elites his, essence refining technique, to create a powerful force under him. Then, after stabilizing his power as a gang leader, he entered the business field. Wang Wei did not go for the obvious shipbuilding and transportation since Spiral Leaf City was near the ocean. The royal family banned shipbuilding out of fear of people creating private navies, and Wang Wei did not want to get on the wrong side for now. He went for the salt business, which was also outlawed. However, he knew this ban was not from the royal family but the result of a few powerful clans in the capital who had monopolies in the salt business. Since he was far away and had less scruple dealing with these clans than the royal family which was still in its prosperity age he did not mind slowly taking over the salt business. With his new method of refining seawater into salt and a better purification process, he rapidly swapped the surrounding city's markets. And when some people tried to intervene, they were in for a rude awakening. Nevertheless, this was not all of Wang Wei's business plan. The next step was the casino and red light districts. Wang Wei revitalized these two industries. He added new games to the casino along with marketing tactics to get more people to participate. He did the same for the red light districts. In the brothels controlled by his gang, the woman no longer sold their bodies but art. He taught these girls how to read, write, sing, dance, play instruments, calligraphy, and poems. People came to the brothels to witness these girls' talent, not for their bodies. Of course, it helped they were all attractive and had beautiful skin because a herbal lotion he made, another business, after trying to create a herbal bath for his training. 
Wang Wei was a man who liked to do this well and thoroughly when he began something. So, he went above and beyond in his business path. He created roads that facilitated more accessible travel from other cities to Spiral Leaf. He conquered the surrounding bandits and turned them into an escort service. As long as merchants paid a specific price, they would be escorted without worrying about their merchandise being robbed. And when merchants realized it was guaranteed to arrive in Spiral Leaf City with their products, more of them traveled there, turning the city into a hub of merchants. And they were not the only people attracted. Many scholars rushed to this city, rumored to give birth to countless era passing poems. Wang Wei had no shame in embezzling the famous poems from his past life. Plus, with his intelligence and experience, he could create many literary masterpieces. Copying them was easier. In just a few years, Wang Wei became the wealthiest man in the Great Lu Dynasty, spreading to many fields across the nation. He had his hands on every business possible. However, he also ensured he did not have a monopoly on all of them to prevent people from rioting and to partner against him. Read novel full.me as expected, he acquired the ire of many clans and factions. Unfortunately, everyone who tried to intervene in his business would not end well. Even the royal family suffered many losses after they attempted to deal with him. Of course, Wang Wei did not care about his abundant wealth as in terms of real value, his current worth was not as good as the pocket money his grandma used to give him when he was a child. Nevertheless, wealth served its purpose. With money and a large group, he did not have to hunt for meat for his martial art training. Furthermore, he had many people searching for spiritual herbs in every corner of the dynasty, using any means to acquire them. Bang! Wang Wei threw a punch, generating a small shockwave. The strength of nine ox, is this the body limit of a weak world? He shook his head. It took him twenty years and countless resources to reach the limit of tempering his body, making him thirty-five years old. And the result was nine ox of strength, which was on par with the body refining second layer in the origin system. Thinking about how much time he spent on the toilet, Wang Wei felt it was not worth it. Luckily, after reaching a certain stage where he had complete control over his body, he could expel impurities from his pores. He also developed some cooking methods to reduce animal meat impurities. It doesn't matter. With the essence refining technique completed, I can live for 120 years. The next step is qi refining. He looked in the distance, thinking about the next step in his plan. Chapter 607 Seeking Longevity 3. Wang Wei rode a horse to a city very close to the capital of Great Lu. His departure alerted many people, thinking he was heading to the capital. As such, he encountered a few assassination attempts in the process but dealt with them quickly. After arriving at his destination, he headed straight to a mansion he had built more than twenty years ago. The hired maids had cleaned the villa before his arrival, but the caretaker dismissed them before Wang Wei's arrival. As soon as Wang Wei stepped into the yard, he could feel his breathing was smoother, his mind clearer, and the air fresher. There was a tall and luscious tree in the backyard, and despite the fact it was fall, it still had all its leaves. There seems to be no problem with the feng shui formation, thought Wang Wei. With this world's low amount of spiritual qi and not having access to his spiritual power, he could not use runes to make formations. As such, he had to use feng shui methods of using the surroundings to set up formation and borrow the power of heaven and earth. Wang Wei calculated the perfect spot where spiritual qi naturally flowed in the entire Great Lu Dynasty. Then, he built countless cities for the formation, using the current mansion as the core. The result was a powerful qi gathering array to gather all the scattered spiritual qi of the Great Lu Dynasty. After checking that nothing had gone wrong, Wang Wei went to a sealed room deep underneath the mansion. He locked himself inside before cultivating. After entering a deep state of cultivation, he could sense all the spiritual qi in the surrounding. Read novel full.me, after gathering for twenty years, there is so little, thought Wang Wei, who was speechless. He could swear a mortal back home passively breathed in more spiritual qi than this entire country. The environment is vital for cultivators. He could imagine how horrible it would be to live in such a terrible environment, trying to cultivate. After shaking his head, he continued with his cultivation. He used the qi refining method. He created to absorb and condense the energy in his dantian. After a few hours, he heard a loud boom and saw a small dimension above his navel. So small. Wang Wei decided to complain no longer as this was not an issue of his body's talent but the environment, and unfortunately, there was nothing he could do about that. 
In his dantian, he saw a gas floating, it was his new inner chi. Since I've been using a martial art theme, let's call it internal energy. He created this energy based on the true yuan he learned from Zhen Chao's world. However, it was of way lower quality. Low spiritual qi also means the laws of this world are incomplete, which leads to a lower power ceiling and many other restrictions, analyzed Wang Wei before continuing to cultivate. Using the remaining qi, he expanded his dantian while also increasing his inner energy. Then, he checked his body. My lifespan has increased from 120 to 250 years old, and once I've completed this stage, I could add more. Wang Wei did not leave his mansion as he focused on cultivation. After using all the spiritual qi, the process drastically slowed down, so he had to use alternative methods. With inner energy, he could finally use some alchemy techniques. He refined the blood energy in meats into pills. With this method, he did not need to eat 50 cows daily but turned them into a pill containing their combined condensed blood energy. Subsequently, he converted the blood energy in the pills into inner energy to continue his cultivation. Additionally, his business would keep sending him some rare spiritual herbs, and he would create qi refining pill to help him. As such, Wang Wei spent years in retreat, only leaving his mansion three times to deal with some people who had no eyes and tried to get rid of his resource gathering business. It took him 15 years to fill his dantian before proceeding to the next stage of cultivation. The human body requires five elements and yin yang to balance, and doing so can prolong life and achieve longevity. Wang Wei followed that philosophy by using his organs to generate five element qi and fusing them with his inner energy. The process took him another 15 years of non stop cultivating, regardless of the loneliness and isolation of this world. After the five elements qi baptizement, Wang Wei's lifespan increased by another 50 years for a total of 300 years. So, he proceeded to the yin yang balance by getting the energy he wanted from the sun and moon. Wang Wei initially wanted to create a high martial system based on star power. Regrettably, he could not sense any star power, most likely, due to the laws of this world. He could feel the energy from the sun and moon, but his body simply could not bear the energy of these heavenly bodies in large quantity. He did a few experiments, and people could not condense sun powers into their bodies and dantian. The pure yang energy would burn anyone to ashes. The sun went for the moon and pure yin energy as it would freeze people to death. He waited under the yard's tree at dawn when the first sunlight appeared. He hurriedly used his method to catch the tiniest of yang qi. Instantly, his body turned red, and an intense heat emanated from his body, charring his clothes. Wang Wei felt he would spontaneously combust and die. Luckily, he swallowed a yin nature pill before his attempt, which reduced the effect. Wang Wei ignored the pain as he fused the yang qi with his inner energy, sublimating it to a higher level. Phew, he exhaled a hot breath. He checked his body and discovered he had lost five years of lifespan because of the yang qi damage. He was not surprised as he calculated he would lose more until he absorbed yin qi to balance his inner energy. After that, he will recuperate his loss and gain more. Wang Wei continued absorbing yang qi until he met the requirement. Then, he cultivated at dusk to absorb yin qi until he achieved balance. And as his inner energy flew throughout every part of his body, it removed impurities while strengthening his flesh and increasing his lifespan. The process took him 20 years, meaning he spent 50 years in the qi refining realm, and that was only because it was him. If it was a normal person with ordinary talent or even above average channel, they might never fill their dantian. It's a shame I could not condense a core, thought Wang Wei. His previous plan was to condense his inner energy to sublimate it into a higher form. Unfortunately, due to the incomplete rules of this world, the process did not succeed. So, Wang Wei had to continue on his previously established plan. I need a break, muttered Wang Wei. He essentially spent the past few years non-stop cultivating. Although 50 years was nothing to him, he also wanted to enjoy himself a little. So, he left his mansion to visit his business and the surrounding cities. He even visited the surrounding dynasties since Great Lu was not the only one in this world. His pa had secretly reached these dynasties as he set up the qi gathering formation to gather most of the qi. However, he did not use them since he wanted to use them for the essence refining method. While Wang Wei enjoyed his travel, news and rumors about him spread throughout the entire world. And the rumor was that he was immortal. After all, he was now in his later 80s, but his face had not changed from a teenager in his 20s. However, 
when people wanted to talk to him or make his acquaintance, he had already returned to his mansion to cultivate. Using his inner energy and reserved spiritual chi, he targeted his Niwan palace to open his sea of consciousness. The process was tedious and lengthy, but he eventually opened a small space, gaining access to his spiritual power. In the cultivation room, Wang Wei suddenly floated in the air. He used his spiritual power as telekinesis to levitate. Unfortunately, he could only fly for about 10 minutes before running out. After shaking his head in dismay, Wang Wei continued to cultivate. He used his inner energy and remaining qi to expand his sea of consciousness and increase spiritual power. Phew, he muttered. At this rate, I'll never be able to condense my soul. He now had a lifespan of 800 years old, but he did not think it was enough to win this trial. While thinking about his next step, he suddenly sensed something and looked in the distance. He smiled. I guess I don't have to go myself. He left the retreat room and walked to the yard, and waited. Less than a minute later, a young man walked into the yard. The latter instantly became shocked after seeing Wang Wei. World's richest man, Wang Wei, should be 103 years old this year, but he looks younger than me. The rumors were true, through the young man, as a decisive look appeared on his face. He knelt on the ground, shocking his entourage. Immortal, please help me. Chapter 608, Seeking Longevity, IV. The young man's entourage wanted to stop him but feared offending Wang Wei. So, they stood frozen, indecisive about what to do. Meanwhile, Wang Wei calmly looked at the young man kneeling on the ground. Your fourth prince, Kong Rong? It is the lowly one. Interesting. So, why are you asking me for help? I have nothing to do with your royal family. Kong Rong gritted his teeth and said, I want to be sovereign. Your highness, yelled his companions as they looked around to see if anyone heard. And despite not seeing anything, they were worried since these words could be considered treason and lead to their master's death along with all his retainers them. Kong Rong ignored and continued. He understood this might be his only chance. And when speaking to someone as powerful as the world's richest man, he had to be direct to have an opportunity. Read novel full.me, I know, an immortal as high and mighty as you might not care about the affairs of the mundane world. But to me, this is everything. You're wrong. After all, there is a reason I have so much wealth. Kong Rong smiled while remaining in his kowtow stance as he understood the meaning behind these words, he had a chance. Immortal Reverend, I will give you whatever you desire as long as you help sit on the throne. Kong Rong had no choice but to use this extreme method. He had more than 40 brothers and sisters, but only five were eligible to compete for the throne, and he was one of them. Amongst all his five brothers, he was the most qualified. He was more intelligent and had the best political, economic, diplomatic, and military sense. He cultivated the best retainers to help him in court and even gained the support of many people in the dynasty. Unfortunately, his father hated him for some reason and did everything to reduce his power or give his brothers the advantage. Kong Rong could not understand why his father hated him so much. At first, he thought because he was the product of a lowly maid. But his eighth brother has a similar background, and his father did not treat him the same. Recently, his father passed an imperial decree that essentially banished him to the borders, removing him from the competition. After that, Kong Rong thought about rebellion. Unfortunately, his father had absolute power in the empire. He easily removed Kong Rong's power and prestige, so he knew rebellion would result in his death. After pondering the situation for many days, Kong Rong concluded there was one person who could give him what he wanted. The world's richest man, Wang Wei. Only this man who controlled more than 70% of the world's wealth and an unknown army of martial artists with superhuman strength. So, without hesitation, he took his most trusted subordinate and traveled day and night to meet his legendary man. Kong Rong instantly knew he had made the correct choice after seeing how young the person was for his age. You understand the consequences of making such a deal with me? Wang Wei asked. I do. He understood what might happen to have an immortal by his side, he might turn into a puppet ruler. Nevertheless, he wanted to take the risk. Very well. Let's discuss things in the capital. Wang Wei waved his hand to wrap Kong Rong and his group with his spiritual power and flew to the sky, shocking the group. Kong Rong took a deep breath to ease the fear and excitement he felt from the sensation of flying and the awe he felt for Wang Wei's power. Meanwhile, his entourage almost screamed out of fear. Luckily, 
Wang Wei blocked their mouths. The capital was close to his location, so they only flew for a few minutes before arriving at their destination. If Kong Rong had looked closely, he would have detected Wang Wei's face was paler than before. The short soaring session while carrying three people and himself almost drained his spiritual power. However, it was necessary to show up and instill fear in Kong Rong, ensuring he won't do something stupid after he gets what he wanted and forcing Wang Wei to waste time and eliminate him. After returning to the capital, Wang Wei asked Kong Rong if he wanted to get the throne using the fast and ruthless way or the slow but more benevolent way, and he chose the latter. The next day, the king and his four other brothers became ill, and no doctors could do anything. Kong Rong began rapidly taking control of the dynasty's military and political powers. With Wang Wei's martial art legion, he was unstable. However, Wang Wei also used a secret method to prevent internal chaos and confusion. Then, after taking all the power, Kong Rong blackmailed his father to pass the throne to him rightfully. The king had no choice since his son had the only solution to the poison he was affected by. Finally, Kong Rong rightfully took over the throne but he did not immediately kill his father. The antidote to the poison required constant doses to prevent death. However, the same could not be said for his brothers. The first thing Kong Rong did after taking the throne was given Wang Wei the title of national teacher before creating temples for him. There was a main temple in the capital, with countless scattered over the dynasty. Wang Wei stood inside his temple, looking at the sky. This world's spiritual qi and la are so low that I cannot even condense qi luck. He could see a bunch of scattered invisible golden motes flying from different parts of the dynasty into the temple. Even if I gather this entire world's luck, I could only increase my lifespan by 200 years. He shook his head before walking into a room where he saw myriad floating white and red energy orbs. I can still gather incense, but the quality is so low, not to mention all the impurities. Wang Wei took the incense to refine it. He removed the impurities and used the remaining to accelerate the spirit refining. Meanwhile, under his orders, Kong Rong began positively changing the Great Lu Dynasty. Wang Wei gave him a book containing detailed things he needed to achieve to bring a golden age of prosperity to the dynasty, he even funneled much of his wealth to help. The only thing Wang Wei asked in return was for his name to be revered in the dynasty and for people to worship him. And Kong Rong did a great job turning him into the revere immortal guardian of the dynasty. He did not hesitate to give him most of the credit for the social changes that happened in the empire. There is even a holiday to worship the immortal guardian. Today, Wang Wei opened his temple for the first time since Kong Rong's enthronement. He never left or met with anyone. If he wanted to communicate with others including Kong Rong he would use his divine sense. He opened the gate, and two people walked in an older man and a younger man. The older man looked at Wang Wei with complication in his eyes before kneeling on the ground, with his head directly on the ground, shocking the younger man. However, he also berated the younger man, forcing him to kneel, and after a moment of hesitation, the latter followed. It's been forty years since we last met. Yes, immortal reverend, and you have not changed a single bit since then. The same cannot be said for you. You're now a dying old man. It doesn't matter, replied Kong Rang. I'm satisfied with my life. So, you're here for your son. Are you here asking me to support him on the throne or asking for immortality for him? I knew I could not hide it from your divine eyes. I am here for both. People who sit on the throne cannot pursue longevity. Their greed and power are a recipe for disaster, and I don't want to create more trouble for myself, Wang Wei replied calmly. If you want, I can teach one of your children a part of my inheritance but it cannot be the one on the throne. These words surprised Kong Rong as he was prepared for rejection and the possibility of facing the immortal's wrath. As you wish, sir. Wang Wei nodded his head before looking at Kong Rong's son. It's time for the dynasty to conquer this world. Follow your father's example, and you will be forever remembered as a wise sovereign in the annals of history. The young sovereign immediately became excited, ignoring the disappointment he had previously felt. Although he could not live forever, he was happy to pursue eternal glory. Kong Rong left with his son to prepare for the expansion. He was too old but could still provide some wisdom when needed. He also did not forget to bring another one of his sons to the temple. Wang Wei looked at the thirteenth prince before him and said, I will tell you directly. Cultivating immortality is boring, long, and requires hard work and dedication. 
But even then, you might fail. Do you still want to walk this path? Yes, Sir Guardian. All right. I'll pass the essence refining technique to you. If you can cultivate it to a certain level, you can live up to 120 years old. Only 120? Can't I be immortal like you? Number. Why? Immortal cultivation requires too many resources. The more people who are walking this path, the less left for me. If it were not for the fact the essence refining technique only required food to cultivate, he would never pass it to someone else. So, regarding the chi refining that required some spiritual chi, no one in this world will know this method beside him. Oh, replied the young prince. Don't be disappointed. The chances are you will give up cultivating after facing the difficulties. Wang Wei's guess was correct. Three years after this conversation, after Kong Rong's death, the young prince gave up cultivating. He hated the constant practice, the constant eating and defecating. Without his father forcing him, he gave up. Chapter 609 Seeking Longevity, Finale Inside the Great Lu National Teacher's Mansion, Wang Wei continued his cultivation. As the Great Lu Dynasty expanded its borders, improved people's lives, and built more temples, he gathered more incense to help him refine his soul. The last time Wang Wei met Kong Rong, he was 143 years old and had spent 40 years with little result, and he finished the process when he was 330 years old. A few things in the outside world caught his attention during this time. Kong Rong's son, Kong Da, who succeeded him and united the entire world, came to see him before his death. He wanted Wang Wei to give the royal family another chance at immortality, and he refused. Meanwhile, the 13th prince, who previously gave up on cultivating, came back asking for another chance. In his late 30s, when his body began to weaken, he had scared and feared death. So, he tried to practice now, but his body was old, his foundation weak after years of drinking and partying, resulting in feeble blood energy. So, when he tried to practice, he needed at least 10 times the effort for half the result. Fearing for his upcoming mortality, he ran back to the temple, asking for help for the immortal guardian. He tried to use the pity card, asking Wang Wei to consider his late father's last wish before his departure. Unfortunately, Wang Wei did not open the temple door or answer him. Soon after, he felt ill and died. As time passed, Great Lu remained prosperous, and Wang Wei's reverence kept increasing. However, one of the sovereigns was unhappy about someone being so loved and popular amongst the people since he could easily incite a rebellion. He tried to do something, but Wang Wei immediately scared him by sending a message directly into his mind with his spiritual power. Unfortunately, the foolishness did not stop, as his successor directly rebelled against Wang Wei. He led the Great Lu's army to the temple. However, to all the people's horror, a humongous palm descended from the sky and crushed the sovereign before the people. This event was forever scarred in the annals of history because the people heard the immortal guarding speak for the first time when he said, making me waster so much chi. Read novel full.me The royal family quickly gathered a new ruler and came to the temple for Wang Wei to decide whether he approved. After telling them it was fine and not to disturb him, he continued cultivating. Wang Wei's eyes were closed, looking at his soul. The thing was so weak that it could not survive under the sun for more than 30 seconds, it was so weak that he did not dare absorb even a ray of pure yang from the sun, so he had to use the yang energy produced by his body to nourish his soul. My lifespan went from 800 to 1400 years. Now, for the next part. The three flowers. He already had the method of condensing the three flowers of essence, qi, and spirit. However, he had to modify it a little to fit this world and his current situation. Wang Wei also used all the little luck he gathered from the world to accelerate the cultivation process. After condensing all three, his lifespan reached 2,000 years old, but he discovered something. Limit. This world has a limit on lifespan, he thought while frowning. He could sense that he had hit a barrier on his lifespan, and nothing could remove that limit. He walked out of his room to a tree nearby. He placed his hand on it, and an absorbing force came out, swallowing something into his body. Absorbing life force does not increase lifespan. On the contrary, the impurities in the tree affected and reduced my lifespan. He frowned for a moment before proceeding to another room in the temple. He placed his hand on an altar and injected his inner energy. Despite his lack of appearance, Wang Wei cared deeply about Great Lu's expansion and participated in a significant way. He gave specific directions on where his temples would be built and how to do so. 
His action aimed to use the entire world as a feng shui qi gathering array. He then used all the spiritual qi for his cultivation. However, the array also had a purpose. To revive spiritual qi in this world and elevate it to a higher level. After activating the array, the world trembled slightly, but no one detected this anomaly. People noticed that all the temples scattered in the dynasty's territory began vibrating. This sudden change alarmed many people. So, throughout the world, mortals began to kneel and pray Wang Wei's name since he was the only immortal in this world, and this anomaly was probably the result of his powers. Wang Wei looked at the sky, waiting for something. Unfortunately, nothing happened. So, he stayed for a few days to even a month, but nothing occurred. So, this world is isolated. He planned to change the world, bringing back spiritual qi and, in turn, elevate the level of this world and break the limitation of his lifespan. He would also improve his cultivation environment. However, spiritual qi does not come out of anywhere. If he wanted to increase the quantity, he had to access the source qi space or convert one form of energy to another. He knew he could not do the latter, so his plan focused on the former. Wang Wei wanted to summon some unknown energy source from space and, after studying it, found a way to convert it into spiritual qi. Regrettably, it appeared that the trial took place in a specially created world that is heavily isolated. What should I do now? Without changing the world, no matter what he did, he could not increase his lifespan. However, Wang Wei also did not want to spend the remaining time doing nothing. I wonder if I could break into the other people's trial to plunder their worlds, fantasized Wang Wei even though he knew this would not be allowed. So, he shook his head to remove these fantastical ideas from his mind. Lord Spirit, can I leave the trial early? Wang Wei asked out loud. No, he received a reply a few seconds later. Why not? Lifespan does not equal how long someone can live. That was true. Lifespan was not an indication that someone would live exactly to that age. For example, someone with a lifespan of 10,000 years might die between 8,000 to 9,700 years old. The reason is that cultivators undergo many battles in their lives, leaving hidden injuries after healing. Furthermore, state of mind, emotions, and stress could also affect a person's lifespan. For example, someone with a lifespan of 10,000 years might die between 8,000 to 9,700 years old. In that case, can you get me access to my body? Why do you need that for? I don't want to waste time. I can use this opportunity to cultivate. Although Wang Wei was not in the supreme realm, where he did not need to access the laws of heaven and earth to cultivate, he had the law fragment from his physique as a replacement. Even if it was a thousand times worse, it was better than nothing. Wang Wei only got an answer about five minutes later. The answer is no, why not? That's a reasonable request. It is, but I just checked, and it will take too much effort to accommodate you. So, continue to play by the rules. 1600 years is not long. Wang Wei tried to argue, but Lord Spirit never answered. So, he had to find something else to pass the time. After pondering for a while, something came up. I just had an idea. Why don't I use this experience to create a supplementary cultivation technique? The purpose would be to allow someone to reach the limit of a mortal lifespan, one yuan epic. The origin system sacrifices lifespan for battle prowess, and many other cultivation systems sacrifice something for another. However, he could create a supplementary cultivation system that allowed people to reach the limit of their lifespan. Although he did not need it, such a technique would greatly benefit the Tao opening sect especially the old monsters who sealed themselves before running out of lifespan, they would all kill for such a technique. Even if I don't get my hands on the deceiving heaven longevity art, this technique will slightly compensate for it. With excitement, Wang Wei entered seclusion to cultivate. For this, life limit art, he did not have to start from scratch as he could use his experience in the trial as guidance. Wang Wei stimulated the environment of the myriad emperor world in his mind to create this technique. The first step is also essence refining, except he used the mildest methods to temper the body. The purpose of essence refining is not to temper the body to become powerful but to be extremely healthy and leave no hidden injuries. As for the qi refining stage, he wanted to create a special qi that focused entirely on nourishing the body and increasing lifespan. He wanted to call it longevity qi, but considering longevity resources and the name might be too grand, he decided on permanent qi. Wang Wei did not have the time to create the spirit refining since the trial ended. 
When he opened his eyes, he was an older man with long white hair and a long beard, and as expected, with his knowledge and never leaving his compound, he lived until 1992 years old. When he opened his eyes, he was sitting cross-legged in a room inside the pagoda. He sighed deeply before leaving along with the others. Chapter 610. Final trials ranking Wang Wei flew to his seat in the middle of the square, and not long afterward, Lord Spirit appeared with a noticeable smile on her face. Let's not waste time and get started. I will show the ranking for this trial from the lowest to the highest. In other words, from the person who lives the shortest time to the highest. I will only rank the top 12. Lord Spirit waved her hand to the number 12 with a few dots. She appeared to be building suspense. A few seconds later, Shi Qian's name appeared, making her face pale in the fifth seated player seat. An image appeared to display the things she did in the trial. Shi Qian did a basic breathing exercise to absorb spirit qi, but she focused on nourishing her soul and spiritual power. Afterward, she created a method of using karma for deduction or calculation. With it, she found a spirit turtle and raised that turtle with the few spiritual herbs and resources she had before turning it into a herbal soup. The spirit turtle soup raised her lifespan to 250 years, and after years of nourishing her body with spirit qi, she lived up to 300 years. Lord Spirit did not stop and continued to the 11th place, Jing Wu Wa. Her method was radical from the beginning. As a demon, she has little to no affection for humans. So, her path of longevity involved absorbing life force from people. Read novel full.me Unfortunately, her actions were effective and counterproductive. Human lifespan as energy or power was murky and full of impurities. And even when she tried to purify them, her body and soul were severely damaged and she only lived up to 312 years. The tenth place was the brother of the barbarian siblings, Tolui. The first thing he did was use spiritual qi to temper his body. Then, he used his potent military prowess to conquer the world. As he watched this part, Wang Wei thought the latter would use a method that used luck, but he was wrong. Tolui used his authority as a sovereign to gather a harem of beautiful women, which he then used to practice a yin-yang cultivation technique with them nourishing his body and increasing his lifespan, he lived to 350 years old. The ninth place was Feng Hang. The Taoist priest used a similar method to Wang Wei, absorbing pure yang energy from the sun and pure yin energy from the moon. He created a technique identical to Wang Wei but focused solely on qi refining. Feng Hang used yin and yang qi to sublimate his inner qi and nourish his body. His result was the same time as Tolui, 350 years. Wang Wei secretly shook his head as he could see the priest did not use his full ability. The concept of essence, qi, and spirit is deeply rooted in Taoism, so he did not think of it. According to his speculation, the Taiyi Profound Gate might be one of the few sects that also created a method of condensing the three flowers on the crown, and the other was the Five Element Balance Palace. The eighth place was Mu Lei, whose approach was strange. He created a mass grave and buried himself. He made a method that turned him into a zombie by absorbing the ghostly yin qi released by the graves. The technique was clever but also had a significant flaw. Without enough spirit qi and specific rare resources, the yin qi eventually corroded his body and soul, leading to his death, he survived until he was 387 years. Zombie. Why do I feel like I will encounter something annoying related to zombies? Thought Wang Wei as he watched Mu Lei's trial. However, he soon focused on the next participant. The seventh place went to Cthulhu. Her method involved conquering the world to help her gather resources. Then, she created a pool of blood energy and sealed herself inside with a special method. By absorbing the energy, and because she had to use little to no vitality in the sealed state, she survived for 400 years. I'm only seventh, complained Cthulhu. Being sealed was a very uncomfortable feeling. It was like she was both dead and aware simultaneously. Time seemed to slow down because of how she perceived it. Her mind was in a murky state where she could not think carefully, yet, she was completely aware of her mind and existence. In conclusion, it was a disgusting feeling to experience, and she could not understand how the people who sealed themselves for countless generations survived, she could foresee the experience was even worse for them. The sixth place was the drunk swordsman, G. Lanfanning. His plan's first step was cultivating the sword while absorbing spirit qi. He focused on training his spirit and soul through the sword. After making some achievements, he began a journey through the world, 
spreading his legend as a swordsman. He even spread some basic body refining techniques to make martial art more prosperous. Then, Ji Lanfang abandoned his body and fused his soul into his sword, becoming the sword spirit. The sword became a legend in the martial art world since anyone who got their hands on it became a peerless swordsman. The only downside was they would die early, but most people who pursued fame and glory did not care about death. These swordsmen died young because Ji Longfang absorbed their spiritual power to nourish his soul in the sword. He also guided them in the process, creating the legend that the sword could create master swordsmen. Through this method, he lived for 430 years. Lord Spirit announced Tong Ruobing in fifth place. Her plan involved creating artificial spirit qi using mortals as the energy source for her worldwide feng shui array. Unfortunately, she also succumbed to the issue of impurities and died after living 550 years. The fourth place was Chu Luo. After seeing his method, Wang Wei's mouth almost twitched. Chu Luo turned himself into a cyborg. The method he used was to replace the failing parts of his body with artificial components that he created. For example, Chu Luo would build artificial organs or muscles through weapon refining if they began to degenerate and showed signs of failure. And since the artificial parts had spirit qi and he nourished his soul, he did not have to hurry about his body affecting his lifespan. Unfortunately, his soul could not be replaced, so he only lived for 624 years. The third place went to Liang Shixian. He used a basic method since it involved his race as a god. He conquered the world and had everyone worshipped him as a divine being. Then, he abandoned his body to live as a pure soul creature. After dealing with the impurities in the incense and low spirit qi, he lived for 687 years. At this time, most knew that only two people were in the lead for the first position. And Lord Spirit made sure to play the dramatic as the second name took so long to show up that many people became annoyed and impatient. Eventually, he revealed Shu Shi as the second place winner. Her method involved fusing her mind with a mountain, becoming a mountain spirit. And because mountains had longer lifespans than swords, she lived for 720 years, her spirit could not support her body without spirit chi or other resources, so she died from the backlash. Finally, Lord Spirit revealed Wang Wei's position as number one. The other participants watched as he methodically created a system ideally suited for himself and the environment. They saw his ingenuity and ability to assess the situation and respond accordingly. They saw how he could use anything to his advantage to achieve his goal. They saw how he could maximize profit while being highly efficient. They saw the demeanor of a Tao overlord. The participants saw what would happen to them if they were stranded in a low-level world weakened beyond measure, and without outside help. They would struggle to survive, while this man would probably find a way to prosper and even get out of the situation. After all, while they tried to live as long as possible, the Tao overlord reached the limit of the world. And if it were not in the trial, he would have broken that limit and maybe lived as long as heaven and earth. The vast difference made a few people sigh in desolateness, but many also increased their fighting intention they would not acknowledge they were inferior so quickly. They would learn from this situation and strive to improve. And if they could never catch up to this man's back, it was all right since he was an excellent motivation to keep moving forward, never faltering. Now that all the trial sections have been accomplished, it's time to announce the final winner, said Lord Spirit. And for many of you, the answer is already obvious. After totaling the results of all the previous sections, the final winner is, Wang Wei. Congratulations. The square became quiet only for a moment before Ji Lanfang said, Congratulations, fellow Taoist. You deserve it. Thank you. Don't forget to have your father contact me. I won't. Tong Ruobing and a few others congratulated Wang Wei, and he replied respectfully. However, he could sense that Chu Luo next to him was not happy. However, the latter did not say anything, seeming to accept his loss.